Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. I'm still at the Motorhome and Caravan Show 2023 at the NEC and I'm back on the canal stand. These are a German manufacturer, many of you will know them. In this vlog, what I'm going to do is look at their what's new for 2024 and that's the Yaseo Caravan here and then also the new uh, VW based CUV models which are almost like um, a camp across motorhome so we'll take a look at those as well. So the Yaseo, now this is really interesting, this is an innovative new caravan from Knaus and basically all the systems on this run on electric, there's no gas at all. It is on the Alco chassis and there are two models in the range. I'm starting on the near side although the entrance door is actually on the off side but we'll see that as we go around. So what's new about this is there's let's say two models. This is the smaller model and it is actually, it weighs just over 900 kilos. So if you have got an electric car or a small tow car, this could be ideal for you. The other model, which I don't think is here today, is just over a thousand kilos. So still a very light caravan, really for the size of them. As I say, everything runs off the electrical system. You can either plug in on electric hookup or you can connect this caravan to your electric car and actually run it off the car itself. So on the near side, we've got a cassette here. We've got a Truma vent, so we're getting some Truma airblown heating by the look of it. We'll find out more when we go in. We've got our electric hookup point. We've got the white sides and the decals. We've got a good size alloy wheel. Now, this is the first time I've seen this caravan with you, so we're both having a first look. We've got a little entrance hatch here into uh, the camper. I'm guessing this does do something um, without being too um, unknowledgeable about what it does. Uh, but as I say, I've, tr I've tried to gather some information best I can. Um, we'll come round the rear. Now on the rear of the Yaseo, we've got these really nice cat's eye lights, as you can see. And this model is the 340px. I believe 340 is because it's 3.4 meters in length on the body. We've got a really good sized back window that we can see here. We've got our grab handles here. Now, as we come round to the off side, we've got another little door here. So this is almost like an, this is not the actual entrance door though. Let me just be clear. Uh, but there's like another little entrance door here and we'll go through. So. On here, there's some more facts and figures. So yeah, the total length, 3.48 meters. Width is 2.2. And this massive in running order is 1,007. It's obviously got some extra stuff on it. And the maximum's 1,300. Payload, 293 kilos. Um, and it sleeps too. Prices start at 22,000 pounds, although this model's 28. So the offside, we've got a water point here. So we've got an onboard uh, water tank, I'm guessing. Right, let's venture in. So this is the proper door. Let's go in. So once we come in the proper door, now at the moment, these, these seats are down just so people can sort of see the features um, of the caravan. Now I'll start at the back. Now, what I have established, now let me see if I can just open these up, is we've got cupboard space here. You can see here we've got all these sort of bits here for the 12 volt system. I'll just close that down, close this down. From what I can gather, I don't know whether I dare do it, this uh, wood here, which you're probably thinking, what's this about? It does actually pull down. Now, I don't know, yeah, I, I don't know how you do it and I don't want to give it a yank, but this does actually drop down and it becomes a bed. So I'm guessing that's why all these cushions are just sort of laid out. So you pull that down. This is your normal table. So in normal daytime setting, you unclip the table, bring it down, and you've got a table to sit at. Jules is just gonna try and give it a really good pull. Oh, good work, Jules. Thank you. There we go. So, ah, oh, brilliant. Thank you, Jules. There we go. So you can see here, look at that. Oh, I'm glad we managed to do that. So there's some more cupboard space behind there, as you can see. We've then got uh, this huge, huge bed, various lights. We can see some um, air blown heating vents as well back there. And I'll just put this back up now. So I'll slide that up. We've got a nice light along there as well. So I'll bob that back up. There we go. See? 
it'll probably collapse on me now. Every good, every good uh, presenter needs an equally good camera person, as you can tell. So that's different. This here is obviously your lounge area. We've got a little bit of storage here. Got a television point there, so TV's installed. This will be a 12 volt, it'll run off your 12 volt system. Let's have a look in here. We've got nice size wardrobe space in there. So if you're looking for a two berth caravan, even if you don't want to connect it up to an electric car or anything, this is a nice little, um, little model caravan. What I will say is there's a lot of floor space in here, the storage space. Now I think there's a bit of um, an innovative design in this one. Oh, it's the other model. No, it's the other model. So basically in this PX model, um, the bathroom is as we see it. I think it's, it might be in one of the other models where it's got a new innov innovative, innovative design. So this is the front bathroom, because we're at the front of the caravan now. We've got the sink, the tap, some storage, the Dometic toilet. And this is where you'll shower, um, I think, if I just step in. Oh, frosted window, that's nice. This, God, I don't, no, that, do you want to pull this off for me, Jules, as well? That's going to come off and that's going to be your shower. Um, so yeah, I won't yank that any harder. Um, there is a compromise. The compromise is space. There's always a compromise. This is a small space. If you're wanting to shower in here as a larger person, you're going to find that challenging but you're not buying this size caravan to expect loads of space you're going to buy a twin axle so we have got the toilet we've got a shower then we've got this nice little kitchen now because this is all electric as i've said before we've actually got an induction hob here so these are electric it's electric induction um, even the heating system everything on this van runs off electric this is a compressor fridge freezer by dometic not sure which side it opens there we go so that's a good size under counter fridge freezer that's compressor that runs totally off electric then we've got a number of uh, drawers here in the kitchen area so yeah there we go oh and we've got this big let's just have a look in here yeah a good size um, storage cupboard up there and then we've got another uh, nice black hot and cold tap so that is the Yuseo 340PX. I know that wasn't the best look around anything I've ever given you, but this is literally a first look. We're at the show. Things are a little bit uh, higgledy-piggledy. But what I'll say, for the money, 22,000 as an entry, and then 28, obviously, fully kitted up with whatever's been put on, this is quite an interesting option. That drop-down bed is mega, and what it gives you is loads of space right let's venture back out as i say there is another model as well a larger one that's um, a three to five berth so if you are a family and you want something a bit bigger there is another option now we're going to go down and have a look at these vws so thank you i'll go go down and have a look at these vws next so i did mention these in the show vlog now knaus have got their version and Weinsberg have got their version. Weinsberg is part of Knaus, it's sort of a more budget friendly. Um, not that these days a lot of this is very budget friendly, but what we'll do is we'll start, in fact, if we just come round here, as you can see, this is the Transporter T6.1 cab. So this is the cab that it's based on. Those that are more observant will notice this huge pop top. So this camper van is, uh, I think it's about 5.9 metres in total length. Um, with the pop top up there, I think it's a, it was well over about 2.7 metres internal headroom. That pop top is automatic, it's electrically operated, it's hydraulic, so you don't have to worry about how you're going to get that up and down. Uh, it does it for you. These are incredibly well insulated and waterproofed. So what I like about this is they've taken basically a motorhome, squashed it and put it on the VW cab so it is narrow it is compact this is going to be easy to park stuff like that but what you are getting is when you go inside you're getting more space than you would a normal VW camper let's look at some facts and figures so this is the Knaus one this is the Tora van CU Vision CUV 500 LT I believe there's two models altogether in this range uh, this has got the 150 brake horsepower automatic uh, as I say, 5.9 metres long, uh, total height 2.28 metres uh, with the roof down. When it's up, it's higher. Right, up to four beds as well. Okay, price-wise, 
nearly £90,000. So quite a lot of money. Let's have a look around. We've got this, I like this colour actually. This is sort of like almost a, I'll say beige, but that doesn't sound very um, flattering, but beige looking. The back end, I really like this. So we've got the cat size again. As I say, this is the 500 LT. We've got a window, we've got a reversing camera, the canal spadge. And we'll come down this um, near side. We've got a garage here. This is brilliant. So we've got some really good storage space here. You can see the rail there. You're going to access this from inside the motorhome as well. We'll have a look when we go in. A ladder to climb up into the pop top. Um, toilet cassette, Truma vent there. Uh, some more, this, that's locked up. That, I'm not sure that'd be your gas. I don't know what's in there, to be honest. More storage here. Don't want to fiddle too much. Uh, that's the onboard water tank there. I don't know the literage on this. Um, I haven't got the full facts of it. I had a look on the website, but I couldn't get all the details I wanted, but it has got an onboard water tank. So let's go in and take a look. We've got an awning look as well, a two lay canopy. So that's brilliant. Got a good sized door with a big strong handle, an electric two lay step as well. I always like my electric steps. And then you can sort of see in, the roof is obviously up so we can see into it there. That looks funky. Let me step in. So. I do sort of feel like I want to duck a bit as well. So yeah, so that's what I've noticed. I've ducked in there. Now all the controls look like they're here. So we've got our awning lights. I'm guessing we're going to operate our um, roof from here. We've got our light switches. We've got the Truma panel here for the heating and hot water, some plug sockets. Wow, this is nice. So when the roof is down, um, you're not going to stand up in here. That let's, let's face facts, but when this is up, this is massive. I mean, you can see like it just goes up and up. There is a bed that part of the, um, the roof, the, the beds, I'll have to work out how we do all the beds, but we've got some storage on there. This will be the little wardrobe. There we go. So that's where we popped our heads in from earlier. And you can see that you can access your storage there. We've got a little under counter fridge freezer here at the side. So that's a good use of space. We're not um, opening here where it's a little bit narrower. We've got worktop space. I'll let Jules join me in here. We've got two gas burners. These obviously fold down. We've got Remis blinds, got a little hot water, cold water sink, some more control panels, USBs. Um, let's have a look here. What have we got here? A cutlery drawer, uh, more drawers. I won't show, show you everything, but um, yeah. Now I'll just have to be careful. There's a little step down here. So I'll just step down the table. Right, this is a, let me sit down and figure us all out. Really good size table. It has got the flap. So you can make this into a big table for the people that are, are in here. These two sofas, these are really well bolstered. Good size. This is going to convert into a bed. We've got the cab from the VW. It is left-hand drive because this has come over from Germany. We've got the automatic gearbox though, as we can see, and the infotainment system. This, this will drive much more like a car. The bonus of this, especially with that auto box, is this is going to be more car-like than motorhome-like. And when you bring that roof down, you're really going to notice, I think, how agile this vehicle is probably going to be. So this will convert into your bed. I'll just stand up here now. So standing up, we can see we've got these like storage baskets as well that are in place. So you have got storage. There's loads of um, space up there. There is, I wish I knew a little bit more um, to tell you because unfortunately I haven't, but I do know this, this, I'm not sure if it's in this model or the other model, there's like um, some drop down beds as well. Because as I say, these are three to five berths. Um, so unfortunately you'd have to go on the website or visit a dealer. The dealers will be able to hopefully tell you a lot more than I can. And I wish I knew more because these are, I really like these. This is one of the sort of innovative, innovative new spaces. This is the bathroom. Now I'll just let Jules show you that. So you can see we've got a, fe uh, a is that a Dometic toilet? Yeah, we've got a Dometic over here. We've got the Dometic point there. That's the Dometic toilet. We've then got this sink. And what this does, I'll just see if I can do it. Again, first time I've seen it, so we're doing it together. I'm not sure if you turn this and then you pull this sink across like that, fold that across, 
and this is then going to be your shower room you've got your shower here as you can see obviously this mirror little soap dispenser i like that and to be fair there's a good amount of space in this this is pretty impressive for such a small little camper because don't forget this is like no different to um you know a vw camper van let me close that and lock that in place so that let me just step back that's the innovative bathroom space there is it might be locked in place but there is a yeah it's locked in place there's a sliding door and then you've got this up here that pulls down i don't want to pull anything that's fixed there it's on a little magnet let me get two hands there we go you can see it pulls down clips into there this slides across so you have got actual full privacy i appreciate it it's not a fixed door but as, as something that works it, it actually really does i like that and we've got more cupboard space here as well wow okay let's head out of the canals cu vision cuv um, and have a look at the weinsberg that's here um right so yeah that's that's a nice one out we go right okay so next i need to be here um here there we go so this is the weinsberg this is the excursion cuv 500 this is the mq pepper this one is from 90,000. Um, we've got exactly the same. We've got the 150 brake horsepower. It's the automatic. It's the same heights. This one, MTPLM of 3,200 kilos. So you can drive this on your car license. Payload, 400 kilos. So that's a good payload. And this is for two to four berths and four people for four seat belts. Exterior wise, now instead of this one being um, sort of that sort of uh, beigey cream one that we saw, this Weinsberg is the white sides, and then we've got a different color, almost grey blue cab. I like this color, and you can see again we've got that big grey um, pop top. This one's got the Excursion, the Weinsberg, and the T6.1. I like this, I mean, I like the Knaus one, I like the Weinsberg one, I like these different colors. This one's got some sort of, as you can see, we've got these extended wing mirrors due to the sort of more bulbous sides. We've still got this two-lay step. Let's venture into the Weinsberg and see this layout. So in we go. Right, you just, you just have to watch your head on there. That's, that does push in, but just be careful as you step in on that one. So this layout, now this has got, obviously the roof is popped up. This is a little bit different. Here we've got, a double bed you can see that straight away there'll be a ladder there to clamber on there so we've got a, a drop down bed i i'm sure them on the now there is the exact same layouts as we've got but this is just a different one so you've got berths up there that's quite nice i like that you've got all this headroom again the sunroof and then we've got that vw cab and then we've got this little dinette area here as well so when you've raised I don't, I, get, I don't want to force anything, but when you've lifted this up, yeah, that's, a, that's a, um, quite a heavy mechanism. Um, but you've obviously got something under there, which doesn't really say a lot, USBs. And then we've got the kitchen area again. I'll just move this a little bit as we, for Jules to come in. So as we come in, we've got our control panels again here, a little bit of worktop space. We've got... I'll just pop my head around there. We've got the Dometic, or is it Thetford? That looks Thetford -y. Let's have a look. There we go. Yeah, that is Thetford. So here in the side, we've got a Thetford appliance, a Thetford uh, fridge with freezer compartments, I'm guessing. I'll close that up. So that's nice. Then we've got our gas burners. We've got a little sink with the fold down tap in there as well. And as I say, this has got the onboard water tank, which makes life a lot easier. And then we swing round, I'll bob that there, we swing round, and we've got this huge, huge bed. I don't know the sizes, but it's as long, you know, it's as long as the vehicle's wide. Control panels, USBs, light switches. This is really nice. And when your bed drops, when the roof drops down, obviously the bed, you know, stays as it is. So big bed, um, there's storage under here. Let's have a look. That's full of bedding at the moment, unfortunately, but it gives you an idea of um, space under there. There's a little, I think that's going to be a little step there as well. So there's a little step to climb up onto 
of the bed. So we can step up. And then we've got this little bathroom again. I think this is so funky. This one has got, um, let's see. So again, we're going to move. Something's going to fold across. I'd have to go in and have a fiddle. But yeah, that's clever. So we've got the Thetford toilet. Ah, I know what this one does. I'll just, if you just let me step in a second. This one, as far as I know, you actually push it in. I say I know what it does. Oh, we slide it across. There we go. So this one, I'm, I'm sorry it's not great, but it's a very limited space. But that slides across. That then gives you access to the toilet. The shower appears to be here. So there's obviously going to be movement in the bed. Oh, there is. Wow, this is really quite clever, actually. So I'll slide the sink across. That's in its normal position. I'll just, we've got the pull down here. I'll just step back again. So if I close this across, it appears that this seems to lift and then gives you access to a shower. Wow. There's a lot in here. That's what I'll say. There's so much going on in such a small camper. Um, I can't, yeah, I'm really quite excited about these. Right, let's venture back out and we'll just have another look outside and just have a bit of a summary about these CUVs. So I'll let Jules, Jules dive out. Um, what did you think about the headroom, Jules? Yeah, Jules is, Jules is happy with it at six foot one. Okay, so there we go. These are really confined spaces to work in. So I'm sorry if it's been a little bit difficult to see what I was trying to show you. The best thing is either to come to the show or to visit a dealer and see these in person. But what I'll say about these, um, the CUVs is if you want something that's not massive um, and is a little bit more agile, but don't forget, I mean, at £90,000, these are still quite expensive vehicles. But I'd definitely say if a camp, VW camper van is a little bit more restrictive for you with space, these are something to put on your list because it's almost like a motorhome on a VW, but at 5.9 meters, you're going to be able to park these easier. Um, yeah, I, I do like these. These are quite innovative. I just, I need to go in and get my head around all these um, bathrooms because they're very different. The Yaseo as well, that new fully electric caravan. I think that's maybe the way a lot of these things are going. And that's obviously technology from Germany. But yeah, I'll just have a quick spin now. So this again is the canal stand here. Um, at the um, NEC. We'll just have a little venture down here. I know this is going off track a bit, but they've got so much stuff um, that some of you may never have even thought about canals, but please do. I mean, you know, here we've got man chassis uh, van conversion. So it's like, even if you were looking at Adria, because Adria do the twin on, on the man now, but canals is here with them as well. So, you know, we've got man, you don't have to stick to Fiat. You can see in there, yes, the Euro, still European, great build quality. The one thing about Knaus is the build quality is very, very good. We can see more. These are called box drives. Again, I've never been in them. I've not had the opportunity. I mean, look at this, beautiful. This is on a VW Crafter. Um, this is um, the Platinum, yeah, Platinum selection. But look at these, these are beautiful. We've got silver sides. We've got sort of a, a steel gray cab. The right-hand drive, obviously, oh God, I, I shouldn't have come to look. Look at this, uh, electric step, in we go. Oh, oh wow, This is, look at this. So this is what I mean about Knaus. This is, say, is uh, left-hand drive because it's come from Germany, but right-hand standard in the UK. Massive lounge area. I shouldn't have come in here, Jules. Uh, we've got a gas oven, grill, great size. The Thetford tower fridge freezer, which is my absolute favorite. We've got on this model, they obviously have uh, twin beds, island beds, but this is the, the side island bed, the fixed bed, French bed, people call it. Side bed though. Um, we've got a little um, sink here. Then we've got the bench toilet. We've got the shower. So this, the, what you've compromised on here is your garage space because you've got these at the back. But the other models, I'm guessing I have huge. And 85,000, that is not bad. I shouldn't have come in here, should I? Shall we have a carry on? If, you, if you're bored and you don't want to see anything else, just, just stop watching. But otherwise, I think we should just have a little look around a few more things here. So this is a VW based. This is again, a Crafter van based one. This is Van Station, 88,000 pounds. But again, that looks beautiful. Um, oh, and then we've got, 
uh, the A-Class or integrated motorhomes. I mean, this is like £190,000, this model. But you can see they've got that huge two-lay uh, canopy, the white sides, it's a tag axle. Shall we go look? Come on, let's see what £190,000 is going to get you. It's going to get you a big door. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at this. Definitely shouldn't have come in here. £190,000. We've got a huge big front cab there. Look at that automatic gearbox and this massive lounge with the leather. It's got the drop down bed there, this dark wood finish, beautiful lighting, um, an electrical drop down television. I don't even dare press the button. I don't know where it's going to come from. Um, Alder wet central heating, air conditioning. This, look at this. Oh, wow. I've got very, I've got very excited. I've forgotten all about that uh, CUV. <laughs> look at this beautiful this again if you're looking at something um you know like coachman imperial adria supersonic you might want to be looking at this uh we've got the dometic tower fridge freezer this here this is going to be your gas oven up there it won't be a microwave that'll be a gas oven um because it's your german that's quite common and then oh wow the space there's a huge um sink mirror mirror cabinet uh, mirrors everywhere big door here this is probably going to open up into your toilet area I won't open that onto Jules otherwise he won't be able to see that then we've got a wardrobe again the Alder tanks there um, excellent storage space um, I don't know what this weighs I'm guessing this could be a five tonner but look at that so that's your toilet and I'm guessing oh yeah we've got an Alder towel rail there we've then got a separate shower cubicle I'll just close that up so you've got this beautiful separate shower cubicle there look at that and then we've got this this model's got this uh, layout i'm guessing again this is available probably with island beds but you come up to these huge um twins there'll probably be something that they're cushioned to fill this i'd have thought to make it a big double um switches plug sockets cupboards oh i shouldn't have come in here definitely this is amazing so that is an amazing uh, integrated A-class motorhome, 190,000. Let's venture back out and just have a quick look. So yeah, I mean, you can see because it's, it's going to be about 8.8 .8 meters long, I'd imagine, but because it's on that twin, I'll let Jules go back out, because it's on that twin, because it's on that twin axle, we can just see uh, the size. Oh, and let's look here. Look, there is the garage open for us. And we've got a Piaggio scooter in here. So that tells me straight away that this garage can take that weight, otherwise it wouldn't be shown like this. So you can even take your scooter if you're worried about getting around. Um, oh, I'm, so, I'm, I'm really excited. Yeah, if you're worried about getting about. So that is the Sun i900 LEG. Starts at 160,000, but with all the kit on that we've just had a look, it's 190,000. And that, that's the front end of it um yeah that's a beauty right i better just wrap it up there otherwise i'll get a bit carried away with myself and buy myself another motorhome um yeah so that is knaus i'd like to say thank you to knaus uk for letting me come on the stand and film hopefully you enjoyed having a little look around if you're coming to the show definitely come here because this is fantastic i'll wrap it up so as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one